as you see you heard them fly above me and hovering above me uh, the previous video and as you see they're directly over my trailer the rectangle isn't my trailer it's the garage building it's the only um, what do you call it? permanent building or structure on the property and so in past videos I'd mistaken it for the trailer because it's shaped like the trailer but it isn't this is the garage so they're not off to the right of my trailer they're directly above my trailer right now as I'm speaking with an electromagnetic radiation device scanning my internet listening to my calls conversations etc 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 and this has been going on we've been documenting it for um, I've been documenting it for three years but we have record of it going back to immediately when we purchased the property so they've been um, illegally surveilling me since we bought the property and it became even more so nonstop with them hacking into accounts and deleting our accounts and websites and crashing our systems and injecting malware into our computers and all that foolishness which we have videos where you can hear them directly above us and see my computer screen what's happening what's more we have multiple witnesses um has been super super non-stop for the last three years because I started reporting them to the FBI, the Department of Defense, um, the Department of Justice, and other federal agencies about their illegal activity. It is illegal, it is against our Constitution for U.S. military to engage U.S. citizens on U.S. soil, no matter what I'm doing, and I'm not doing anything. I don't even have a parking ticket. I've never been in trouble for anything in my life. I'm minding my own business, my own property. This is racially motivated. These Fallon Naval Air guys behave like skinheads. And they have done horrid things around town that I've witnessed. And to people, they're just nasty, evil. They have no moral compass. And the things that they're being taught and trained to do, because we have a facility here that specializes in combating cyber crimes, they're the actual criminals. I'm not saying all of them, of course not, but it only takes a few bad apples. And the bottom line, it's a, an excellent demonstration of why this kind of technology should be forbidden. Because it only takes a few people to abuse it. And unfortunately, to train someone to combat it, you will have to train them what the thieves and hackers and criminals are doing. And if the people that you're training don't have a moral compass, or are only really truly there for other motivations and not to represent our country and the law and our constitution, but their own personal private sector interests, then we have a very serious problem. And guess what? We have a very serious problem, which needs to be addressed. Not covered up, because they've been refusing to take uh, reports and uh, complaints um, and I'm not the only one who has tried to make reports and complaints. So not cover it up. They're so worried about their reputation instead of worrying about the security of our nation because this type of a breach of protocol puts everybody in danger. Who, the information that they're stealing, are they selling it to or giving it to? Because you're not doing it just for the fun of it. There are very serious, serious questions that need to be addressed that are not being addressed. Because again, they're too worried about their image. The hell with your image. What the hell is going on? You don't have control of your people. You need to get your people under control and you need to find out how deep this criminal enterprise is running. That's the top priority. But again, they're more interested in their reputation. And for the people, the good ones, who work in their behinds off to do exactly what their purpose is, which is protecting our country and upholding our laws, 
our Constitution and our rights in this country. I always feel that when I have to speak against the Fallon Naval Air Station because there's so many other people that these delinquent degenerates are making look terrible. I'm military. My family's military. The people I've loved the most since the day I opened my eyes are military. Six generations. So I'm not saying any of this lightly or easily. But the truth needs to be told. And either half the people are too scared to stand up to them and, and say anything. Or when they do, they're meeting so much opposition from the people who are supposed to be aiding them that nothing is ever said or done. And I'm going to keep speaking up and speaking them out because this is not only a disgrace to every branch of our U.S. military, but it's also a danger, a very serious danger that is, it's like an infectious disease. If left unchecked, it will have fatal, critical consequences. They can't let this fester within our military. They have to do something about it. It's more than about all the crap they've been putting me through. It's what's their end game? How can we trust these people? Of course we can't. How many people are involved? Those are the questions that need to be asked. 